morning, friends. Today I'm going to read to you A Color of His Own by Leo Leone. And it's a story about a little chameleon. Carrots are green. Goldfish are red. Elephants are gray. Pigs are pink. All animals have a color of their own. Except for chameleons. They change color wherever they go. On lemons, they're yellow. In the heather, they are purple. And on tigers, they're striped just like a tiger. One day, a chameleon who was sitting on a tiger's tail said to himself, if I remain on a leaf, I shall be green forever. And so I too will have a color all of my own. I'll be green. With this thought, he cheerfully climbed onto the greenest leaf he could find. But in the autumn, fall, the leaf turned yellow and so did the chameleon. Later, the leaf turned red, and the chameleon turned red, too. I'm very happy. And then the winter winds blew the leaf from the branch, and with it, the chameleon. He blew right off the tree. The chameleon was black in the long, cold winter. But when spring came, he walked out into the green grass and he met another chameleon. He told his sad story. Won't we ever have a color of our own, he asked. I'm afraid not, the other chameleon, who was a little older and a little bit wiser said. But, he added, why don't we stay together? We'll still change color wherever we go, but you and I will always be alike. And so they remained side by side. They were green together and purple and even yellow. And they just stayed together. Good friends. And red with white polka dots. And they lived happily ever after. He liked being like his friend. And they did things together. It's always fun to be with friends and do things together. On the same link that we read the story, there's another underneath it on the same page. And you, if you want, can make your own chameleon. So that's what I did. I printed out a chameleon, or you could try to draw your own, draw your own if you want. That's fine, too. And I decided I was going to make a couple of different chameleons because I really liked the book. So the first one I made, I made a nice green leaf, and I made this chameleon. And I cut him out, and I just glued a straw on the back to make him like a puppet, or you could glue a pencil on the back, choose whatever you might have at home, so I could tell a story with a little puppet. And then I thought it might be fun to use some paints. If you have some paints or magic markers, crayons, whatever you have at home, and I did another one. I didn't cut him out yet because he had to dry. I made him all different colors like he was on the front of the book. I thought it was fun to make some chameleons. I hope you have fun today too and enjoy the weather and the beautiful day and I'll see you all soon. Bye friends!